Greetings, all! Today, we will be examining the relatively common Fire-type Pokémon Ponita and its relatively rare Evolution Rapidash, collectively known as the Fire Horse Pokémon. Though perhaps not the most conventional of Fire-type Pokémon out there, the members of the Ponita family are brilliant-looking creatures that can more than bring elegance and incredibly fast-paced action to any battle they are made a part of. Ponita resembles standard horses with beige hair and four legs with black, incredibly hard hooves. Their snout is marked with a small pair of nostrils and a small mouth with teeth designed primarily for grinding up plant matter, and their face is adorned with a pair of large gray eyes and pointed ears with red interior flesh that are pointed towards the back of their head. Their head, back, and upper legs are coated in a sheath of fire that glows and flickers even in the daylight, and their tail is similarly engulfed in flames to the point where it is difficult to see their tail at all. Their evolved form, Rapidash, have the same basic body form and hair color, but their overall body and the flames on their body are much larger, in particular their mane which is comprised of a long stream of fire that billows from the back of their head in an extended form, and the flames on their legs have moved down closer to their hooves. Their ears are now also pointed upwards, their eyes have become smaller relative to the size of their head and are red in color, and they now possess a long, sharp horn of bone on their forehead that is primarily used for defense. The members of the Ponita family are interesting equines that have adapted to the power of fire as a way of defending themselves against attack. While these creatures look, live, and behave much as most normal horses do, they are distinct in regards to their beige, almost white hair, and especially in regards to the flames that are emitted along their frames. Coated among portions of their frame are patches of skin that possess glands beneath the surface that emit chemical fumes superheated by internal flame sacs in their body that ignite via chemical reaction when they come into contact with oxygen, resulting in flames being generated along these patches that create a fiery display that makes them dangerous to approach. On the one hand, this makes these creatures relatively difficult to approach in the wild, as they can easily flare up their manes to scorch anything that gets near them. But it is this feature that also makes them incredibly popular among horse riders and trainers across the world. While Ponita and Rapidash can be trained like other horses, it is much more difficult to do so, as two major factors have to be incorporated into their training. For one thing, one must be able to earn their trust to the point where they will willingly relax their flame sacs to minimize the volume of superheated gases emitted from their body in order to keep their back relatively cool and safe to sit on. Secondly, they must be trained to remain calm even under pressure, as these creatures are prone to letting fright trigger an immediate response in their body, causing their flames to flare out and likely scorch anything that is unfortunate enough to be riding them at the time. This as a whole can make these creatures very difficult to tame and control, but their incredible speed and the sheer difficulty associated with their training makes them top choices for the most elite of riders and horse show presenters. Not surprisingly, as a result of their incredible agility and ability to tolerate and even absorb heat efficiently, these creatures can possess runaway and flash fire as base abilities, and if their flames are particularly strong due to excessive bodily emissions, they can further have Flame Body as a hidden ability. In terms of stats, in looking at Rapidash, their close relation with traditional horses means that they are generally sturdy, but not as defensively strong as other Fire-type Pokémon, and they have limited stamina to work with, plus, because their Fire-type powers are more defensive in nature, their overall special powers are somewhat weak, in turn making most of their base stats below average for fully evolved Fire-type Pokémon. However, they can still make great use of their deceptive speed to strike fast, and their powerful hooves and large horn allow them to deal surprising physical damage with their attacks, resulting in their base attack and speed stats being above average for fully evolved Pokémon of their type. As such, while these equines might not be the most dangerous of fighters to most, they can still put up a fight in a physical brawl and more than run circles around the opposition, 
giving them very little time to react before they end up meeting the business end of their hooves and body in general. Ponita are generally quite weak when they are newly born and can barely stand on their own, but they quickly grow stronger as they often stumble and fall in their attempts to gallop along with and follow their parents and keep up with them, with their impressive flaming manes and tail coming into full ignition about an hour after they are born. While these creatures are able to generate some projectile fire type attacks, they are generally more gifted in physical strikes and can do so quite readily even from birth gaining quick access to attacks like Flame Wheel at a young age, and eventually gaining access to attacks like Takedown and Flare Blitz later in life. Their frames are surprisingly lightweight despite their size, and they can use this to their advantage, as they can and do run along fields and mountains all day, and can leap incredible distances and heights, often practicing by leaping over tall grass, increasing the height of their jumps as the grass continuously grows upward. Some have even reported them leaping so high that they could clear the Eiffel Tower or Ayers Rock, though this is quite an exaggeration despite their incredible jumping ability. They are helped out in this, though, by the fact that their hooves are made from an organic keratin of such incredible density that they are ten times harder than diamond. This, in combination with their sturdy legs, makes them excellent shock absorbers that help these creatures survive their otherwise incredible leaps and can make the trampling stomp and bounce attacks they gain access to particularly flattening and difficult to resist without strong defenses, especially if one is foolish enough to get too close to their rear without expecting the powerful kick that is sure to follow. Rapidash, despite merely looking like enlarged, more mature versions of Ponyta, have a number of anatomical and behavioral traits that make them distinct from their pre-evolved form. For one thing, in evolving, these creatures develop a horn that is made out of bone, with only a thick layer of skin stretched over it. Thought by some to be the inspiration behind the mythical unicorn, the point on this horn is quite sharp, and it enables these creatures to learn the fury attack move immediately upon evolving. Plus, it grants them access to the mega horn and, in combination with a minor venom gland that is located near the base of the horn within the surrounding soft tissue, the poison jab attack. Secondly, while Ponita on their own are quite fast, they pale in comparison to their evolved form. While Rapidash are normally found peacefully cantering about fields and plains, if they feel threatened or see something that is moving at high speeds, they will immediately dash off at a speed of up to 150 miles per hour. While this alone is quite astonishing, what is more amazing is that these creatures can reach their maximum speed in only about 10 steps, a consequence of their strong leg muscles being inundated with high concentrations of fast twitch skeletal muscle fibers. When moving at such a high speed, the hooves of these beasts barely touch the ground as they are propelled long distances with every movement of their hooves off of the ground. And while this can make them look extremely elegant, with their flaming manes and tail extending in length the faster they travel as oxygen rushes into the flames to fuel them, this can still be a problem if these creatures accidentally trip and fall, a trait that is responsible for them not learning the tackle attack possessed by Ponita, instead relying on a quick attack to deal minor damage to targets. Behaviorally, while Rapidash can be fairly calm-natured, they have an irresistible, competitive urge to demonstrate their agility by racing anything that moves particularly fast when in their vicinity, causing them to run off and race the target as their flames flare up in response to their increased excitement and determination, showing that they can't be outrun by anything, even if that means racing off against vehicles like cars and bullet trains. While trying to ride them at their maximum speed may be worse than trying to ride an arrow, Rapidash are very popular as racehorses and animals in general as a result of their speed, and can more than use it to daze and confuse the opposition before delivering fiery body blows and horn jabs to make sure that their presence is well remembered. They might be seen more as animals built for showing and racing than actual combat, but the members of the Ponita family are still fiery contenders in any fight and can more than put their strong physical offenses to work when needed. You might have to adjust to the lack of strong special attacks in comparison to other Fire-type Pokémon, but if you need a Pokémon that can easily trample and set the opposition ablaze at the same time, 
you won't find a better candidate than one of these horses. If you're just looking for a good steed to ride off into the sunset with, though, then these equines will work just as well. Just make sure that you build a strong bond with them first, and try not to use spurs too much on them, as even the most fireproof suit you can find may not be completely protective if your saddle suddenly turns into a hot seat and you have to choose between getting burned or getting thrown off like a rock at a high velocity. Thank you all for watching this video. It is always an honor to be able to speak with you all on the subject of Pokemon in a way that brings me great joy and happiness in my work. If you would like to keep tabs on past and future work, click that subscribe button, check out my work on DeviantArt, and don't be shy about following me on Twitter, where you can find pertinent announcements on upcoming work before it is officially posted. Links to both can be found in the video description. If you would like to support my work and help Miguel and I continue to produce more content for you and improve upon our presentation, please visit us at my Patreon page, which you can also find a link to in the video description. Yeah, no. With that, I thank you for watching and I wish you well.